Hello and welcome back to another round of Gravity Team Tactics, the Furtive Spring DLC. This time we will have to defend Pechenoi using these five uh, Jagdpanzer 1s and Gruppe Weissmann infantry. And here we are in Pechenoi, which is kind of a boomerang shaped village here roughly. So um, I have two forces, Gruppe Weissmann is holding here. This hex can be taken by the enemy, but according to the battle plan they will attack here, but obviously they don't necessarily have to. Um, now some things of note, there's minefields in my back here, which is worrisome, <laughs> uh, but also minefield at this road here, which is useful. Um, so I have Gruppe Weissmann here, let's start with them. Uh, the only anti-tank they have are panzer books um, that they uh, that I dug in. But other than that, we will have to rely on the Jagdpanzer once more on those later. They are dug in here. We generally have a nice view of the Russian deployment area here. So um, for them to get down into the river should be relatively tricky. Obviously my mortars are set to bombard all this in the beginning of the round, I mean, you know this by now. Um, I have one 80mm mortar and two mortar batteries that will do the pre-bombardment. Uh, they are attached. My spotters will be in this building. Actually, they already went in there. Good. Would be nice if you could look out the other window, to be honest, but other than that, fair enough. And yeah, we have all kinds of uh, units here. Gruppe Weissmann also has heavy machine guns in support, which are dug in a bit on the flanks and a bit further apart uh, to provide that long-range um, covering fire that is so useful in this game. I think this is maybe a spotter unit. We also have some 5cm mortars, standard German infantry equipment for the time. So yeah, if they come here, I think we could probably mow them down. I don't think they have tanks, but maybe they do, it's not easy to tell. So. Over here we have the anti-tank unit. We have a uh, light field howitzer attached, which we can use in direct fire. Now if they had tanks that would be useful, since they don't, I hope I j will not lose it. We have some pre-made uh, historical positions that we're using. We have two infantry platoons, one of which is fairly depleted, um, together with our Panzerjägers. And the Panzerjägers are simply dug in all, al all in this village in various positions. I have five all in all. Here you can see them with the name of their commanders. And um, they are obviously watching in the direction where the main Russian assault is um, expected. But some are also looking at this road. Now if there are no Russian tanks materializing, I will use the Panzerjägers instead using HE against infantry, obviously. And here's more infantry. Dug in. Now the Russians uh, probably will go for the bridge. And this house here is also an objective, but I'm not defending it, to be honest, because I feel like this isn't the greatest position ever devised by anyone. It's so, like, I'd, I'd rather be on the reverse slope here and shoot them from there. But that's just me. Anyway, um, let's see where the flares go up, so to speak. Actually, the flare went up here, in front of Gruppe Weissmann, not where the AI is quote-unquote supposed to attack. Um, one thing I maybe forgot to mention, I also have some infantry guns in support here. wonder why these are not going into cover. And this is my mortar preparation. Oh, for a second I thought it was a tank, but it's just a haystack. Uh, maybe the AI will... Uh, it was only one flare, maybe the AI wants to uh, scout first. And we actually made spotting contacts here. Russian infantry, but also somewhere over there where they got hit by artillery, but okay. They're actually attacking uh, here, okay. Hmm, 
got a four and a half tank engine. Okay, I uh, opened up here at the advancing Russian infantry in the hopes of maybe nailing this assault down early. I know that I hit a lot of things here. I think that's my mortar, right? Or is that the... no, the Panzerjäger is still on hold fire as far as I know. I think the Panzerjäger, um, the mortar is uh, supposed to get um, assigned targets automatically. Oh, wait, that could be Russian mortars, actually. From here, maybe? Hard to say. Over here, I think it's still relatively quiet. Okay, more Russian uh, spotting flares, this time going up inside the village. I opened up with my Panzerjäger, using the HE shells, obviously. Although I'm kind of worried about them attracting unwanted attention, because I might need them later against tanks. But I mean, as long as the Russians are coming down the forward slope here... And this is of course still my pre-planned artillery, I don't think there's actually anyone coming down this road, but hey. Okay, more uh, Russian probing attempts here. That seems risky without tank support. I mean, I don't want to tell the Russians how to do their, their Russian job here, but I'm just saying. You know, this is worrying me. Something is opening up. See, that's from a muzzle from a Russian gun. So something is up here, possibly a mortar, or maybe, a, probably rather like a direct firing gun. If I spot that, I can maybe knock it out with my, you know, with my 7.5cm uh, infantry guns. Spotted a truck as well as movement over here, although now the infantry seems to have gone to ground. Nope, never mind. There's some infantry still here. Submachine gun troops, apparently. Which, of course, are kind of outraged at this uh, stage here. We can see the flashes of our um, Jagdpanzers. Maybe I will switch these off again. Kind of. I don't think they carry that much ammo, to be honest. These Russians just can't catch a break. They are exactly hit by my pre-planned artillery here, which is just good luck on my part. Yeah, this guy for example. Yeah, that's where the flare goes up. They're supposed to rush ahead now, but they just got exactly hit here. Although I guess at this point moving forward would probably be the best idea to maybe get in the cover of that little uh, copse of trees there. Shelling this ravine as well, just, you know. Okay, I think that means either we're under fire or we're gonna retreat. So what's up with Gruppe Weissmann over here? Uh, we had some casualties here from the infantry fighting.
like that poor dude. Uh, we're seeing some infantry movement here that seems to be going in this direction as if they're retreating, which would be good. Yeah, there's infantry here. They, um, the survivors of my artillery strike. Hmm. Yep. We inflicted quite a few casualties so far. No offer of ceasefire, but the Russians also seem to have ceased most like major operations. Like the big force that they had assembled here has went into this direction. I did call in artillery on this, the top of the hill where they crossed, but I think it will be too late to hit them. Okay, never mind. Um, this guy just got shot, and uh, there seems to be Russian infantry relatively close here now. Well, throw a nade. I think these were the ones that managed to cross through the bottom. Where are they? What is he shooting at, to be honest? He seems to be wounded already because he's bleeding. But there's probably more coming up the village road here. He's in some kind of sniper duel. Ah yeah, with met forces over here. The heavy machine gun actually. And probably they can't turn it quickly enough. Okay, now I lost that dude. Okay, never mind, he got hit by the machine gun. Okay. It's best uh, in these scenarios, it's really best to dig in next to the road, because that's what the AI will be using to not tire out their troops, which was a mistake that I made in the first Russian scenario, even though I didn't really pay for it much because they had superior forces. Okay, I think that's the off-map RT being called in. It was quicker than expected, but I don't think there's any Russians left here. It is possible, actually, that they move them over here and want to advance down the road, but then I would spot them if they do that. I hope. Maybe through the gully they could have some cover. Close combat over here continues as there's more Russians. Actually, the one that got shot was apparently a different one, because this dude is still up. He is really in front of the trenches here. It would be nice if some guy could maybe take the position of the shot one to take him out, maybe even throw a nade at this range. My artillery or mortars are falling over there. I mean, as long as it's just one dude here, I don't really have to care much, but he's in a skirmish with my heavy machine gun team, which I don't really want to lose. And of course there's still sirens outside, because I'm going to live in some kind of ghetto. Uh, this Russian Rambo here is already wounded, but still firing. Still firing. Indeed. Was that from the Russian side? Or was that my mortar? I think I have a mortar up here. Oh, probably these guys, right? Yeah, they look like they're firing. He stood up? Jesus Christ, this guy is more crazy than I thought. Of course, that's a hard target. Was he a fence in the way? Now, in combat mission, I would probably move my forces to engage him, but to be honest, I don't see that. I don't really think this works much in this game. Sooner or later we will hit him. Or he will make a move towards me and we can kill him. Oh, he runs out of ammo. I wonder how many shots one single dude carries. Jeez, he is already... Did they already have two wounded people last time or did the Russian Rambo take out one of them? These are set to fire at will, right? Yeah, yeah, they are. You know what, fuck it. Let's, let's try to get the, him at close range. I mean, come on. After that we can al always... Yeah, see, okay. Let's do a combat mission move here. And do it like that, and now we're going to pull them back into their trenches. And returning.
They are under fire from somewhere, but it's good. Maybe they will take some better positions as well up here, but no. Nope. Shit, we lost one. Or at least he got wounded. So apparently there are still Ruskies who have infiltrated into the village here. Yeah? But we took out Russian Rambo, so that's that. You okay, buddy? I don't know if he's dying or if he can, um, or if he's um, patching himself up. I've seen both happen. We will look at that later. Nope, he's fine. Just got grazed. Meanwhile, the Russians are actually moving in this area, which I've shelled quite a bit. Even the 10.5 centimeters opening up on the, the mirror now. And, uh, yeah. It was predictable results. To be honest, I don't think that... And maybe I'm, like, jinxing the whole operation, you know, but I don't think without uh, tank support or with significant artillery support, like I'm talking of firing... Oh, look at this. This artillery strike here was great. Without... and I'm talking of firing line of, like, 45 mil guns all along here. Without that, they won't be able to push me out of here with just infantry. It's just not, not seeing that happen. I might have gotten a few through here, which will uh, filter into the village, but that's it. And uh, the enemy has agreed to a ceasefire, or offered one, rather. It's not like I offered. Okay. These have only fired in the first half of the battle. I hope they didn't expend too much ammunition. I'm sure that 47mm HE is not necessarily easy to come by. But, yeah. It was very weak, uh, well, draw... Well, we had six casualties, they had 43. Now, I did actually think about, I mean there's no tanks knocked out so it's not that interesting, I did actually think about we could maybe push them off here, but then I thought, you know, why? You know what I mean, why? What what could possibly, what advantage do I have from, from owning this area? I think this is more used to me as a Russian, like, as a killing ground for the Russian attacks than it is as a defensive position, so I didn't um, venture to get them. Now that's a nice flex zone, barn. <laughs> Although that is a good position, obviously, look at that. Uh, one interesting note, since we are uh, here, uh, here is Fedorovka, which you know from the earlier campaigns. So this is all on one big map, it's just that we haven't so far fought down there, which is in the south, of course. I wonder, yeah, this is where the battle where we got pushed back is. Is that tank that we damaged still there? Yep, okay, yeah, there it is. So they did not recover that, and we really completely knocked it out. That is cool. Good to know, at least. Yeah, I think next battle will, of course, be raging either in this direction or in Nepokritaya, over there, and will be quite decisive. So, yeah, let's go back to the overall map. And here we go. Yeah. Uh, looks like we... Uh, they did have artillery, I think maybe 45 mil guns. Um, but we did damage the infantry quite significantly, I believe. While having very little uh, in terms of actual damage to Gruppe Weissmann over here. Or these guys, which weren't even in the battle, actually. So, well, hope you enjoyed it. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.